And now to introduce the horns is an honor to introduce Rick Caruso to the stage. He's the founder and CEO of Caruso Affiliated, one of the most celebrated gentlemen in real estate. Ladies and gentlemen, Rick Caruso. In this room, I doubt I'm the most celebrated gentleman in real estate. This room is full of real estate. Lou and Lisa, congratulations. Um, this is quite a night. You are have a room full of people who love, admire, and adore you. <clears throat> There's not, not many people in the great city of Los Angeles that could fill this room, but you have, and you deserve it. And it's my privilege to pay tribute to the two of you, who are near and dear to my heart and near and dear to my wife's heart. Now, I've known Lou and Lisa Horn for the better part of my life. So tonight, to be here with them and with all of you is really a great night, and they've had an extraordinary impact on the lives of so many, and they have been the most extraordinary parents. I know Lisa well because I practically grew up in the Wilson family house. Her mother, Diane, was under the impression that I just liked hanging around the house, as did Jack. But in truth, I was there because they had seven girls <laughs> who were charming and beautiful, and I thought maybe I could date one, but somehow I struck out. But fortunately, Lou had better luck, and when he met Lisa, he wisely realized he had found the love of his life. Like Lisa, I first met Lou in college at the University of Southern California. At the time, he was just a young guy from a strange and distant land called Sacramento. <laughs> now, you wouldn't know it by looking at him tonight, but back then, Lou had his own unique style that you saw some pictures of. With his outlandish one-piece reversible suits and his orange crayon shoes, he looked like Saturday Night Fever on steroids. In fact, college, there were some who called him the foreign exchange student from Sacramento. <laughs> we never really understood why a person with unmatched mind couldn't figure out how to match his clothes. But thankfully, when Lou met Lisa, after he got married, the better half helped him get a better wardrobe. <laughs> Today, when you hear the name Lou Horn, many things come to mind. You may know him as the president of the Greater Los Angeles Orange County Region for CBRE, a company that is consistently near the top of America's best employers. You may think of him You may think of him as a leader of the world's largest commercial real estate services and investment firm. You may see him as a pioneer who is reimagining the modern workplace as an innovator, and he's reshaping the office of the future. You may recognize him as a man who is transforming corporate culture by focusing on the human elements that make all of us happier and healthier. And you may heard that all of those efforts helped him twice win national awards for his leadership and management skills. I admire all of the accomplishments and accolades that Lou has earned over the years. But I also remember how those traits were evident when we were at SC together. It was there when I knew Lou and Lisa that I saw between the two of them the power of timeless tradition in virtues and values, the friendship and fidelity that have helped people throughout history lead honorable and ethical lives as they do. Lou and Lisa always had a strong moral compass, an inner guide that helped them see that what we accomplished in life is secondary to who we become through the process. They always believed that we were not placed on this earth to simply serve ourselves, but to serve each other in so many different ways. And they think we should live our lives not for the narrow awareness of self-interest, but on a path and with purpose that is much larger and much greater than ourselves. That's why I'm proud to say that Lou and Lisa are not just longtime friends or good friends, they're family. And I'm grateful to Lou and Lisa for the laughter that we have shared and the lessons that we have learned and the cherished moments that have been created together with our families 
as we have traveled around the world together. Every step along the way, it has been Lou and Lisa, hand in hand, side by side, forming a faithful family that is renowned and admired throughout Southern California. Like her mother before her, Lisa has blossomed into a model matriarch, serving as the guiding light and the serene spirit for a family that has known the dark of night as well as the joy that always comes in the morning. Throughout their lives, they have been committed to the community, sharing their generosity and philanthropy, showing their support for such worthy causes as Catholic Big Brothers and Sisters and the Didi Hirsch Mental Health Services. In return, this devout and dedicated family was blessed with four bright and beautiful children, including their daughter, Christina, who we honor tonight. In the Catholic tradition to which Lou and Lisa are deeply devoted, there are three theological virtues, faith, hope, and love. In those enduring virtues that guide our lives and soothe our spirits. For Lou and Lisa, they not only live by these virtues, they embody them. They have faith in the unbreakable bond of family and the future of medical research. They have hope for the healing of their daughter and for the answers that will restore health to so many others. And they have an everlasting love for each other. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight we are very proud to honor two people who have brought great honor to their family and the ongoing quest for a cure of MS. Together they exemplify the noblest values and virtues, living mm -hmm. as humble servants with humble hearts, filled with faith, acting as an inspiration to each other and to all of us. So please welcome our distinguished guests and honorees and the most incredible parents you could ever find, Lou and Lisa Horn.